hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see how we can create a chrome extension so basically chrome extension you can do so many things so let me explain one of the extension then we can try to create another extension ourselves so the first one so we can just discuss about some of the extension then we can go to uh, create a, one extension so what that include this whole extension so here so this is one of the color zilda so you can pick a color so whenever you are choosing something uh, it's a drag and drop and everything will be uh, coming here so basically you need to do so many work around to make it uh, this kind of scenarios so this kind of adults so we are not going to do that one we are actually doing something simple then we will we will try to run that so you need a manifest dot file that's the first thing whenever you are going to create a when you are going to create a extension the first thing you need a manifest file so we need to create that we'll do that then what else we need so let me pull up our environment first uh, okay so we are back so in this uh, in this one so create a chrome extension where you can right click and select test so what we are going to do whenever you are right click you need to uh, after you select something so just example like this and if you are select text so I have already that um, that Chrome plugin here, but we will make some uh, changes or we will make something. Uh, then we will try to reload that because I already installed that plugin, but it is fine. So the first thing you need a manifest file. That's the first step you need to do to create a Chrome plugin. So what I did is like, so if I am showing you something, I'm not going to all of my folders. So I'm just uh, trying to show you, you only need to show two things. So let me show you something so here okay so here I create a folder called extension so then after creating that extension you can create a your own folder that doesn't matter what is the name but we need the manifest.json as the first one so probably in another video we will go through the theoretical part but right now we are focusing on our uh, practical part. So in what included in that one. So this is the manifest file. So right click, let's select whatever name you can pick it up. That's uh, fine. So the permissions I have one context menu, active tab, scripting. That's actually these things are uh, we need for right click and other things we'll go through this uh, de uh, details of about this later sometime but right now this is enough uh, we uh, we just focusing on the uh, practical stuff so we, we need only to take care of these things then uh, then background service worker this is the js file 
where the actual things are happening then pop-up html so this is a pop-up html i guess this one is um, an optional one for this scenario but let's see what's what's in that background of js so we are adding a listener context menus creates uh, select text select id context selection on click add listener if uh, menu item is select text so you are adding a context menu so i guess uh, the context menu is like let me show you this is the context menu that's my understanding so after selecting this one this is the context menu probably uh, that's my understanding whenever we are going to the theoretical part we will discuss later so that's fine then uh, we we are adding a listener so it's a it's pure javascript so nothing uh, that much so then target get selected as tab id where we clicking something selecting something then there should be a get selected as window get selection and you selected this one this will alert into this one so if you uh, if you do some other works here that also possible actually i have something in my mind to do that selecting a text converting into something that's my uh, that's my uh, version 2 but right now the version 1 is like selecting the uh, item so after you are adding all of these things the next thing is like um, load the extension in Chrome so for loading this extension you need to go to the Chrome extension uh, enable developer mode and load and pack and select the folder that's it then just uh, run the stuff that, uh, that's all so here we create uh, do like this copy going back to our window and here I already added that one so but how right click text check uh, selector so it's already here so what exactly happening is you need to click on the developer mode then load and pack and you need to select the folder that's it then it will appear here you can remove turn off whatever you need so that's fine so right now i will show you how this will behave so if you are clicking on this one this all things will be selected so that's uh, where this chrome extension works so i guess i can stop the video here we will go through all the theoretical part later uh, but for now um, we uh, we will show here so thank you for watching have a nice day <clears throat>